Hey everyone, welcome back to Bareback Broncos. We've heard your questions and we read your reviews. We're gonna go ahead and show you how to put up the Nature Nest tent. This is gonna be in real time. Uh, I'm not gonna make any cuts or anything. I wanna show you the real time it takes to put this up. Um, the Bronco is on 37s. Uh, I can't reach things from the ground, so I'm gonna have to use my Nerf bars and my tires to be able to get the system going. Uh, also, keep in mind I have a limiting factor. Um, my previous career, uh, when I was a young man, I used to ride bulls uh, in rodeo and I tore out my shoulder. So some things are a little bit harder for me to reach and takes me a little bit longer to set up. But this is what I experienced when I put these tents up. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that now. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, ladder out of my Bronco. I keep the ladder inside again. I can't really reach too well with my left shoulder. Uh, so this is just what I'm going to go through when I set up things. And I just want to show you this in real time. The first two things that we're going to do is right here on the right hand side, <clears throat> there is a latch. Now, I wish this was more uh, flipped the other way around. Again, I have difficulties reaching with my left shoulder um, so this can sometimes give me a little bit of hassle but again it's not that big of a deal right here on the right hand side of the latch you have a little spring loaded clip you're gonna press that down that's gonna pop now on the other side I left that one uh, strapped for a reason because what happens when this lifts it wants to shift over so I'm gonna just do that one side at a time this is the one that is usually difficult for me because I don't have any handles on my RCI roof rack yet. I need to get some so I can hold on. And again, it's nothing that is difficult from the actual rooftop there itself. It's just I'm limited on my left shoulder. So I'm doing the same thing here. I'm going to go ahead and so as you can see everything over there is open then this side you're just going to come over and lift it up. Inside I do have my um, awning supports in there. I like to kind of put these up on the barrels because when you do the um, awning stuff they tend to go underneath. So inside the tent I have my awning rails. There are two styles of um, awning holes in here. I don't really know which is better for what yet because I've only set this up three times now. But there's a straight pole and then there's a bent pole. Um, the bent I think is better for where my off-road lights are because uh, it gives me a little bit of range here to be able to uh, move around that light where this one doesn't as much. So I typically like to use uh, the straight ended ones. The outside. And again, here's where that steel strap kind of gets in the way sometimes. And you want it to be up and above so it doesn't pull your awning down. But I'm gonna go ahead and this back wall is um, zipped up, so I gotta unzip that.
you don't have a very good hold on these, uh, there's a good chance that you'll slingshot this out of your hand. Uh, I've done that before. Okay, so the tit is up. Now, on the outside, you just have those nice pieces to hide the aluminum. So you just go around and put those in. Now the tent is up, um, and if you wanted to put the windows down and whatnot, uh, which is just a cold, windy day like today, obviously you just pull the barrel in and the windows fall down, so I'm going to show you that. So that's with the door closed, and then if you're going to go ahead and use your screen, that's with everything down. So now I'm going to go ahead and take it down so you can see what it's like getting it down. So this is nice. 
time and you have a headlamp on, you would be able to see those. I think that's a nice touch. I like to roll the door from the inside. Grab the top of your awning. I'm going to go ahead and secure this side down first. So you're going to see this is one I'm going to come past the ladder. When everything comes in, I just start to fold and press forward. It will want to do this motion, uh, which is okay. Don't panic. Just push everything in the best you can. Flip this up. And this little buckle needs to be on the outside. Go ahead and run your strap in there to secure it. Just don't pull it down because you still need to do some tucking. This is just to prevent it from going back up. Again, no need to put this down yet. 
this is just um, to prevent it from going back up when I shift to the other side. everything a final puff. Really simple to do. Uh, once you get the process down, it's not bad. So this is how you put it up and down. And then the ladder stows away pretty easy. It's just a series of locks. Just watch your fingers. That has a Velcro strap. Now this does have a bag too. Uh, here's the bag. So you can put that away. And that's it. So here's the carrying bag. Get that out when you set that up. There's these, lock, these, these ladder rails on each side, so you can pick which side you want to put it on. Um, pop the two latches and just keep the uh, two sided secured until you get on the other side so it can come up even um, instead of just pushing over one way or the next. 
and that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I'd be happy to show more of this tent if you have any more questions. But like always, like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.